Hello my friends, welcome to this channel. I'm Anna and I help you grow beautiful and healthy plants. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about five plants that you should never buy and never grow, especially if you are busy. So if you don't have that much time with some diva plants that are never happy. Well, plant number one is lemon. I've tried to grow lemon even from seeds for so many times. In the very beginning, it's very successful. They grow nicely and green and lush, but definitely the time comes when the leaves drop, when the leaves turn yellow, they have some spots on them, they turn brown. If you water it, if you don't water it, if it's uh, under the sunlight, if it's in just bright direct light, it's never happy and you have so many pests, especially scale, especially mealybugs, everything basically thrips and um, all sorts of pests you can have on lemon. So if you're not really into taking care of the same plant every single day, fighting with some pests, with some diseases, trying to figure out when to water, how much to water, what it doesn't like, what it likes. So don't grow lemon. I know it's very exotic to have this kind of uh, plants in our places, but it's not worth it, I think. So if it's, a, of course, from my experience, and I would definitely not recommend you growing lemon or any other citrus plant. Ah, the second on my list is crotons and these are codiums. Basically, these are the plants that I will never recommend anyone to grow, especially if you are not living in tropical climates. If you do, go ahead, they will thrive with you. Otherwise, don't even try because we can never create the conditions that they like. They will always have uh, mealybugs, spider mites, all types of problems with watering, with light, with humidity, with temperature every single day. And I've tried to grow different varieties thinking that maybe this one will be happier with me. But again, no, it's try to grow this plant and it's never happy even though the humidity is there, the light is there, the um, temperatures are quite warm, but they are never happy. And I don't know why. There are just some plants that are not... Um, meant for us maybe, even though I always say that no, you can always learn how to grow these plants, but believe me, so many years I have tried with so many plants and I just gave up on them because I don't want to kill plants. They are very healthy and very lush and very beautiful with all these sorts of leaves that are yellow, red and uh, green, different greens actually and orange on the same plant. It looks so beautiful and we're tempted to buy them over and over again, but every single time I bring them home, the leaves fall off the next day. Okay, that uh, can be stress from changing the conditions, but then once it's actually adjusted to your climate, still it's not happy because you overwater it, you underwater it, it's too much light, it's too less light <laughs> or whatever. And then constantly you feel that there are some pests on it, then you isolate them. It's just such a hassle. So that's the next plant that I don't recommend you to grow. Okay, plant number three, actually two plants at the same number three level basically and you may be surprised by this because you can see a ficus right behind me and if you have watched my videos you can uh, maybe remember that i have so many varieties of ficuses and a monstera a huge one that takes maybe half of our living room but yes so i don't recommend you grow ficus and monstera if you don't have that much time, if you don't want to spend a lot of time taking care of your plants. Even though both plants are low maintenance, well, Monstera is definitely low maintenance. The only thing that you can do wrong with it is overwatering. Ficus, okay, can be a little bit tricky. You may need time to understand what it wants, when it wants, etc. It's always a problem if you overwater them. The leaves may drop off they will turn brown and fall off again. Uh, but why I don't recommend these plants, even though I have them myself and I have different varieties of them, but why? Because, well, this video is about if you don't want to spend a lot of time with them, right? And you will have to spend a lot of time growing both Monstera and Ficuses because their leaves are quite big. And if you will not notice on smaller leaves, level of dust on the leaves, or if you notice and you can quickly take 20 plants to your bathtub and quickly shower them, 
wash uh, the dust away from the leaves but with monsteras if they are big and you can see the size of my monstera here uh, on the screen definitely i cannot take this plant into the shower and i cannot also take my ficuses into the bathtub because the soil will get overwatered instantly but with these plants you will have to clean the leaves maybe once in two weeks if you really want the plant to be clean and shiny it's a lot of time and if you don't have the time if you don't want to spend so much time don't grow monstera don't grow ficus and by the way if you have watched until now please like and subscribe to this channel because it helps us to reach more people who would like to grow beautiful and healthy plants so this is absolutely for free for you to like and subscribe and we will reach more people to help more people to grow plants together all right okay number four on my list of plants that you should never grow and this will also maybe a surprise for you because now these plants are trending it's alocasia to be honest any variety of it because let me show i bought this one for 30 euros and you can see a picture again on the screen how it was how it used to be when i bought it it has had three leaves and the fourth one was opening up you can see the soil how dry it is i haven't repotted it i didn't disturb the roots i didn't do anything wrong with this but all four leaves got dry and i didn't know if i'm gonna use this uh, lose this plant and i just stopped watering it thinking that let's see because i know that sometimes the the leaves may get dry and sometimes people throw the whole pot away but the base of the plant here and these cones basically they stay and they can still grow they may even grow the whole new plant from it and now you see that after a while a new leaf is opening up so it is growing as uh, it seems and the the soil is bone dry just to make sure that you kind of know how uh, rare you should water these plants i haven't been watering this plant um since a month i believe if not more and it's doing well it's growing the leaf this is very strange because these are also tropical plants they like the air humidity but the soil seems to be pretty dry and i like it they don't even get dry or anything so it's another diva that if you don't want to spend so much time and if you want to have lush growing plants definitely alocasia should not be on your list because again first of all this is what you may have instead of lush growing plant like this uh, so that's why do not grow alocasias and it will just be a lot of trouble for you to figure out when to water how much to water what it likes what it doesn't like they're absolutely beautiful plants but that will take a lot of time from you so that's plant number four and plant number five is a plant that i'm absolutely in love with i don't have a single one right now and for many years already but once upon a time i had a huge collection of this plant of 800 varieties this was many many years ago and that plant is african violet okay before you jump at me and write in the comments that what that's one of the most beautiful plant yes it is very beautiful it doesn't take that much space the plants are quite compact and small and you can have tons of them on just one shelf and they bloom at least 10 months out of 12 in a year which is an absolutely adorable plant but it can even flower for you in the winter months that's absolutely fine again i am absolutely in love with this plant but again you should not grow this plant if if you don't want to waste a lot of time on this plant on growing the plants here is why because these plants want attention every single day so every single day you need to go and look at them and think what they need what they want do you need to water them do you need to turn them do they need more light do they need more air humidity do they need what you need to figure it out and these plants require your attention 24 7 because if you overwater it the next day they may be already rotten still you can save them if you look at them after watering only two days after watering they may be completely rotten 
I had a case when I would water a plant, it was totally fine, it was quite uh, beautifully growing and thriving. In the evening I would water it, in the morning it was completely brown, just rotten, completely rotten. So again, in this case, if you don't want to wonder what's wrong and you don't want to uh, spend a lot of time taking care of the plants, don't grow African violets. Okay, then you may ask what I can grow. Well, grow philodendrons, and I will put some pictures here around me. Grow peace lily, grow tradiscantia, grow snake plants. Grow plants that you will have there, you will water them, you will forget about them for a week. And they will still be thriving and blooming and growing for you. And whenever you want, just go and water them again, they will be happy. The best one will be zizi plant, because this plant you can water maybe once a month and you can grow it in bright light, under direct sunlight, in the shade, it will be happy all the time. So what plants will you recommend others not to grow based on your experience or what plants to grow? Please write them down in the comments, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Stay passionate about plants!